please consider subscribing to the channel and turning on your notifications so you know when I upload my latest videos. You can also join my channel with memberships and I have my own Roblox group called the Key Lime Pie. Also, follow me on Twitter. I'm the most active over there. And you can use my star code LIMEY at checkout when you buy Robux or Roblox membership and I will be supported by you. So let's get on with the video. Hello everybody, welcome back to another Royal High video. It's been a couple of weeks, but um, I wanted to let this update simmer for a little bit. There are many, many content creators on this platform who rely on updates for their content. And I feel like it would just be the nice thing to do to let them get in there first. Today, I want to actually give you some tips on the notes quest for the musician and also the quest for the the lifeguard the tr collecting trash and i want to give you some tips on how to collect these items because people are struggling it's like new year's event and i'm going to come in and save y'all again uh, from the pain of these quests i'm not going to give you any tips or anything on the other ones because i feel like the other ones are pretty easy they're very enjoyable and i feel like you don't need videos to show those off so just going to be sticking with these two for today's video for the notes quest you get this cute little bag and i actually haven't completed the trash quest yet but i know it's a lot easier than the note one but there are more items so first things first before we start i want to head over to the royal high wiki and use a guide by karasuneth this will be linked in the description and the Albert Kim quest is the music note quest. You get the satchel from it and Karasunef has very kindly made some possible spawn locations. Now these aren't confirmed or anything but these are just observed to be places where these notes can spawn. Of course for each person they are randomised so I can't give you a proper tutorial of me walking around collecting and showing you these locations because they're all randomised for each person. But I can show you in this video today some locations that are common and some locations that I missed during the time I was spending looking for them and that you might have missed as well. Uh, mostly around here in the cave. Cave is pain. Let's head back into the game and let's take a look at some music note locations. So if we head over here to the cave, I've actually already collected them on this account, but I'm just gonna show you some places cause I do remember them. They can spawn in these top areas here. So at the top, make sure you're checking around this general area and on the other side where you can come through this little space. They can spawn on both of these little edges. I've seen them spawn there before. Also, before we head into the cave, behind this tree here, I have seen them spawn as well. And behind this log. And also, they can spawn behind this little fireplace and in front of it as well. I've seen them spawn in all of those places. Make sure you check all of these little benches um, carefully because I've seen them spawn on a couple of those as well. So let's head into the cave now. Can spawn right in here. So check carefully over this edge uh, they can kind of spawn half in and half out of the ground in this area here so make sure you check carefully i may have a video clip of when i recorded this first to show you how it looks in the ground there but make sure you're checking carefully it might help when you head into this area right here to turn on your colorful brightness setting now heading into areas will turn this filter off and especially when it goes to nighttime or turns to daytime it will reset your filters but make sure you turn the colorful brightness on so you can actually see and it helps you determine uh, where the notes are because the notes are black and white or gray and they blend in with the background so well it is kind of a nightmare so it will help you find them but we can head down into here and as we head for this turning, um, I think one can spawn along the floor here as well. So make sure you just are looking around carefully. I feel like one spawns here along the floor. And when we get to this turning, I have seen one spawn right here. And um, I kind of spotted this on my last run of this, of this quest. 
and it can spawn right on the wall there as it turns for the first time into the cave. There's also going to be some that spawn inside this cave as well but make sure you are checking all of the walls and the floor very carefully for this cave i've seen them spawn along the wall here so underneath this part i've seen them spawn in the wall there i've also seen it spawn up on these ledges so check both of them because i've seen it spawn on both of them before and you don't want to miss that so check on the wall check along those ledges and this ledge as well never really seen them spawn in this area where the crest is but um, i have seen them spawn on the floor on the walls and on these ledges so check them properly and make sure you haven't missed any we're gonna head out of this cave now but make sure you check everywhere thoroughly ah fresh air i hate that cave so much you don't understand but um some other locations you might have missed these islands around the area outside of the cave they can spawn around the rocks and they blend in with the rocks so it's easy to miss them so check around all of these rocks like i am doing here if you need to and it's night time you can put colorful brightness on again as it gets rid of that pinky red filter these islands i've never seen it spawn on these little minis but on these ones that are like decent size i have seen them spawn on them so check around the rocks and all of the trees and everything like that there's also this tallish one as well so check this island and then this island is the biggest island and many can spawn on here so again check the rocks check the bushes check the trees check this area and all along these ridges as well because i've seen them spawn on there and again the rocks um i also have seen it spawn at the entrance to this dock here so there may be one on there there's also you know check around all of the edges and stuff like that and i've seen it spawn on this little platform here as well we're going to follow this back to the island and another spot they can spawn in is around here on the base of this one that is very near the the coastline so not on this one in the sea but this one that is right on the coast on the beach house they spawn on the beach house either in the corners here they can spawn on every level so i've seen it spawn on here as well and also on the floor behind these pillars like hidden behind those pillars there so make sure you check all over this little beach house area we're going to fly over to the pier or the unfinished pier and they can spawn underneath here but they also can spawn around the rocks next to it so make sure you check the rocks around the piers as well and also on this side as well okay they can also spawn in the lifeguard booth as well i've seen it spawn here so double check in here so we're going to come over to the shop casuals crown casuals and we're going to follow these little grass bits here and i've seen notes spawn in this half so along these three usually it will either be in this one or the middle one but make sure you check all of these grassy areas because i've seen a note just one note spawn in one of those spaces so double check it and even go along these ones as well to the very end just in case but most common they do spawn along these three they also spawn in shops as well it can spawn inside the pride uh, building as well so make sure you check the corners they usually spawn in the corners of the the white area of the floor again i've seen it spawn in ocean shop just double check in this shop as well and also in the pizza palace i've seen it spawn in here uh, it's usually going to be in the front area i've never really seen it spawn in the staff area also if we come out the back one you might miss is in this corner it can spawn right in this corner here so double check that also lagoons outlet to the side they can spawn around this rock here and all around the sides as well so one can spawn behind this rock as well and we can continue round and i've seen one spawn behind this tree and rock here and on the other side as well i've seen it spawn on this side in the flowers as well so double check all of those areas and if we go to the bunnies i've seen the music notes spawn around the bunnies not in the hole or the burrow but kind of around 
the bunnies here. If we go over to the monster cat event, all of these rocks around here, double check the rocks around here because I've seen music notes spawn a lot. I missed like five and I couldn't find five of my music notes and I came to this area and looked around the rocks and I found four of them. Check these rocks, all of these rocks, even the ones up here and most commonly actually I see them spawn around these ones up side here so just double check all of them so we're gonna fly over the buildings now i've never really seen them spawn on top of the buildings i have seen them spawn on the walls so double check the walls here and if we fly to the side of the apartments check both on the apartment side and yeah i've never really spawned them, seen them spawn really on any other building there usually is one in the coffee shop on the top floor but that might be a common spot to find on the apartments building though I have seen them spawn right on these sofas or sort of around the sofas. I've seen them spawn in these pools on both sides and you know check the sofas here again but also on top I've seen it spawn on top of the helicopter pad I've also seen it spawn right in this pool underneath the water as well so make sure you check those places because those might be places you have missed and my final one that I missed and I was looking around for hours for was actually right here in this corner and I was cry laughing because I went through so much to try and find this last note and it was actually right in the corner of this building so if you remember my new year's tutorials I said to not forget to look around the corners of buildings in these ledges when you fly past and it's camouflage you're not going to notice so do a walk through walk along the boulevard here or sunset street and check all of the corners of these buildings including here and inside here and here and around this edge as well and just do that all the way down so you know you haven't missed any music notes also if we go over to the new green screen a music note can spawn to the side of it and to the side of these bikes here as well so double check those we're gonna fly now to the top of this hill and the rocks up here the the station for the cable car and check all of the rocks around this area you may have missed some around these rocks i did for a portion of it and check all of these rocks along the side as well and including that rock and there will be or might be a note that spawns in this station as well so double check around here also along the base of this again there there can be one that spawns here just like the one that's just in the sea over there so check all of the foots of this pillar now i don't think i've personally seen any notes spawn in this area where the picnic and the, and the piano is but it is circled on Carousing Left's map so make sure you just double check up here again using the same tips check around the trees and the rocks and try not to fly too fast either walk to this area or put your flight speed on really really low so you can really get a good look because I found when you're flying around to do it quickly you're taking more time because you're missing note spots and trash spots so you know just slow slow your flight speed down so i think that is the majority of places that are going to be more hard to spot i mean there are plenty more locations around the place inside the shops that i haven't covered but I just wanted to go over the ones that are going to be more difficult for you to spot and the ones that I kind of suffered through trying to find. So I hope that helped in some way for the music notes quest. We're going to move on now to some tips for the trash quest with the lifeguard. So I haven't done the lifeguard quest yet, but I know it's significantly easier than the music <laughs> note one. But that doesn't mean it's not still a challenge. The thing's like not radical right now. I quite like it or ride any awesome party waves in like these totally unnarly conditions. We scroll down to the lifeguard quest and let's take a look. These are all the spawning locations and as you can see it is literally only along the coastline. Don't bother checking the main diamond beach, just look around the coastline. Also it can spawn here apparently along this uh, area where one of the pillars is and only on the main island, not on the mini island. So mostly the coastline, this part and 
here. So that is super helpful. It cancels out a lot of the other areas for possible places they can spawn in. And I'm sure we're gonna zoom through the 75 locations for this quest. Of course, these are all randomized. So as you can see, there was one underneath there. You might miss that because that was a bit translucent. But as I said in the last quest, make sure you're checking everywhere super carefully. So make sure you're just walking to places very slowly and checking it around all of the beach area. Again, it can only spawn on the beach. And those crumpled paper ones are probably going to be a lot more difficult to spot since they camouflage in with the sand. I am seeing them mostly around these areas of the little seating areas to begin with. And we're going to double check them and some money i'm glad they added diamonds to diamond beach that is necessary there's a light bulb here and actually a little bit of trash there so maybe do a quick flyby along the edge all the way up to the pier and once you know you've cleaned all the way up to the pier you can move to the other side or go further past the cave so i think these ones are going to be a lot easier to spot um these ones that aren't camouflaged oh there's a light bulb as well that i flew past make sure you're checking very carefully again just walk and take your time i'm flying around uh because i am impatient but there's gonna be a lot along the coast here it seems so let's pick up all of these as well they actually can't spawn inside the cave, so don't waste your time. They are just going to spawn along the edge, but they do extend around the side here, so we should go take a look. So I just did a little fly along the coast here. I don't actually see any on this side. Um, I see some shells, but I don't see any trash. Uh, I don't think there is any on this side, which is cool. So we're going to go over to the pier now and check around that area. In fact, I'm just going to quickly walk along the coastline here in case I've missed any that are right on the edge of the water. Looks like there is one little light bulb here and one here as well. And even a, a, a straw. Make sure you don't use plastic straws and a straw here as well. It looks like there is some up next to Jam Jam. Um, and now we're going to go underneath the pier and check for rubbish under here. And there's quite a bit of it, actually. There's one here. Cans. There's quite a lot of rubbish under here. That's a shell. A bin bag. Trash bag. Whatever you call it. Can. Straw. Another bin bag. And then there's some up this side as well. So a bin bag here. More rubbish. So now we're on this side, I'm starting to see less rubbish. We have 35 out, we have 37 in fact out of 75. And again, we're just gonna use the same technique of checking the edge of the water and you know, collect all of the ones up here. And we can see there is some along the base of that area there. So let's go collect that. And I'm not sure if there's any around. I don't see any more. It seems to be all of them for there. And I feel like there's rubbish that spawn on the stage here. Oh, and I've missed one that's behind the tree. So there's a straw right here as well. So collect that up. Albert Kim, you've left paper. You must have been writing the music and throwing it away. Uh, so collect any that might have spawned up there. I'm going to put my filter on again so I can see it during the night more along the coastline it's a straw i feel like i'm going to be missing a lot of these straws because they are a lot more difficult to to spot but i see that there and again don't fly around like i did because you're just gonna miss a whole bunch of them see there's a whole bunch along here and because i was flying i just sort of flew over the top of them but you really want to be slow and steady like the turtle to uh spot to spot these items so there's some a lot actually around the beach house up here it's quite a significant amount so come and check up here as well quite a lot actually okay so i don't think they're going to be spawning this far down so it appears there isn't any along this area uh for me personally but make sure you come and check and here we are and we're going to check the beaches around here let's hope there's only 14 <laughs> And that we haven't missed any.
At 70. I just checked the map. They can spawn around the dock area. So let's have a look. Oh, see, there's one right there. So we missed one right there. And oh, that's it. That's all of them. You're complaining about this quest. That was easy. That was easy. I did that in 15 minutes. The music one, the music one is absolute chaos and hell. He heck. It's he he it's heck. That that music one. But um, this one, it's nice. I like that one. That was super easy. From this, and I hope the little walkthrough of this last one was helpful in finding the location. Another little tip is with the music one especially. If you are struggling to find them, you can always quit the quest, leave the game, join the game, redo the quest. Because the spots get redone, they get regenerated, it might be a lot easier spots for you to find these trash pieces in. So, yeah, there you go. That is the trash quest and the locations that I got. Yeah, that was super easy in my opinion, but people are struggling with this one. More so the music, but um, just, just there you go. We gotta have to go back to the lifeguard now and get our item. Woo! Awesome! I can finally catch these waves! Oh yeah, and uh, the fish are like saved, which is also gnarly. Swimmer flippers! Ooh, interesting. So we can pick more litter out of the sea. So considerate, lifeguard. And also lazy for the fact that you are giving us a speech about climate change and doing nothing about it yourself. But um, yeah, anytime you see litter, guys, pick it up. And don't drop it in the streets because you are contributing to climate change because that litter you throw in the street will make its way to the ocean. So, recycle and don't waste and don't litter. And then we have flipper feet that have a swimming animation and bubbles on them. So when you move, they will make these water patterns and they have bubbles as well, which is cool. Look, splish splash. <laughs> You can put on the swimmy feet animation now. It is in standing for some reason. But uh, yeah, swimmy feet is built to go with the flippers. Which is so cool, look at that! I want a snorkel. I wonder if any of these other ones have snorkels so I can, you know, snorkel in the ocean here. That would be cool. That is it for this video. I highly recommend you use those guides on the Royal High Wiki. Literally helped me complete this quest in 12 minutes, as you can see from this video. And the notes quest is a lot harder, but it does show you some general areas where you can find them and it saves you looking in places they're not going to spawn in. So, thank you for watching. Hope this helped. Good luck getting your items and completing the quests. Goodbye.